And now I'm going to make ad hoc steaks in rice paper with a shallot and soy sauce. It's my type of fusion, you know, a mixture of uh, a couple of cuisine. And as you can see, I have beautiful ad hoc. Ad hoc is related, you know, to the cod, the family. Thinner, beautiful white flesh. For that particular recipe, I would want to remove the skin. If you remove the skin, you know, you move your knife in a jigsaw fashion here and pull on it so that you get that, you know, skin out of it. Sometimes the skin, certainly the skin in the salmon, I put it in the oven, a bit of salt, pepper on it, and I dry it out, and I use it as a, you know, a kind of crackling. So here it is. I'll fold this one there, a piece of bone there, and I have my four steak. Now, what I want to do is to wrap them into those rice paper. And those rice paper have to go in water. They got to get wet so that they can get soft. But it doesn't really take very long to get them soft. After they are wet like that, they should soften in no time at all. I'm going to need four. And what I will do is just put a couple of uh, leaves of tarragon there. Tarragon is very pungent in taste. I mean, it has a kind of a slightly licorice taste. Great part of tarragon, if you have some in your garden, you know, that it comes back every year, so you don't have to worry about it. You plant it, next year it's there, the year after it's there. And if it doesn't grow, it's because it's in the wrong place. So you change the place and it starts. You know, here we are. Okay. Come and stick. That's it. A little dash of uh, salt I'm going to put on my filet here. A bit of pepper. The filet goes right on top of it here. Maybe that size here. And as you can see, it's soft enough. Now to wrap it. It's kind of delicate, but it holds good. Here, and we're going to brown it right through that rice paper, you know. Here it is. And I'll start them, you know, this side down. You know, they are relatively thin, and being thin like this is going to cook in uh, pretty fast, you know, a couple of minutes on each side. So you want to cook them uncovered a good couple of minutes on each side because to get a crust, you know, for that uh, rice paper to form into a crust. And during that time, I think I'm going to do the sauce for it. And the sauce for it is a mixture of soy sauce, shallots, and so forth. You know, those things, you buy them in any market and uh, they are dry out in basket. You can see the, the shape of the, the mat or the basket, they dry them on. Very, very inexpensive, and you keep them in your uh, you know, cupboard for months, years. I do them sometimes in little hors d'oeuvre. I moisten them this way, roll inside like a scallion, a little piece of uh, cucumber, a little piece of uh, avocado, for example, you know, and, and it's a great hors d'oeuvre. I'm going to do shallot. Cut it in half. Across. I can hear the sizzling here and that the indication that the juice is coming out and it's browning up fully. Okay, here we are. But I can see that the flesh of the fish is getting whitish, you know, which is an indication that the fish is cooking through. Certainly this one is kind of small. Let me... That's it. You can see right through the rice paper, you can see the, the herb. That's it. Dash of sugar in there. A little piece of garlic.
Okay, a little bit of rice vinegar. Sweet sour, you know, and soy sauce, and some kind of salt. With a light soy sauce. Nice zip. Mm. Maybe a dice of Tabasco. Give it some, some character. Maybe I put a bit of the sauce first. You know, when you do a sauce like that, you want to spread it on the outside. You try to put it on the outside, you get it messy. Always start from the center and with the bowl of your spoon, you spread it. So you can go to whatever perimeter you want, but it stay clean. And here we are. Maybe a little sprig of, uh, of tarragon on top, since we have tarragon there. And here we are. You know, the added steak in rice paper with the shallot and soy sauce. Mm -hmm.